Hi, I'm Jared Harris, and I'm here to answer the IMDb show's Take 5. You might know me from The Crown. Oh, well done. Or Mad Men. It's been a magnificent year. And most recently on the HBO series Chernobyl. It wasn't a control system tank that exploded. It was the reactor core. It's open. Chernobyl is a five-part miniseries on HBO about the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. And it's a story about the corrosive nature of lies. I play Valery Legasov. Tanks are full who is a nuclear scientist who is assigned the task of trying to figure out what's happened and then how to fix it, how to contain the disaster. If you fly directly over that core, I promise you by tomorrow morning you'll be begging for that bullet. I, obviously, being an actor, I love Tootsie. You are psychotic. No, I'm not. I'm employed. Tootsie's almost perfect. Don't play hard to get. It makes me laugh every time because all the characters in it are so brilliantly played. I can't act with this. Oh, shut up. Probably my favorite is the hammy actor who always tries to kiss everybody who sings outside of her window. We're up next. I haven't seen Dirty Dancing. I won't tell your mother about this. I blame Footloose, personally. You see Footloose, they can't dance. White people can't dance. That is the dancing that we're talking about. So I'm not gonna see another movie with white people embarrassing themselves. No, it, it's not the way it is. It doesn't have to be that way. The best description of the hell of being British was delivered by John Cleese in A Fish Called Wanda. Wanda, do you have any idea what it's like being English? It's about the constant state of fear of embarrassing somebody else and therefore yourself. Being so correct all the time. Saying something embarrassing, asking an embarrassing question. Saying to someone, are you married? And hearing that my wife left me this morning. The Long Good Friday is a brilliant movie about a concept of being British. Naked. Is that a proposition? No, it's a threat. There's so many different versions of British. You're not going to get one answer from me. Paul Thomas Anderson. I love his movies. Well, that's very predictable of you. There will be blood, stunning. Tell me something worth hearing. Punch Drunk Love I really liked. Makes me stronger than anything you can imagine. I don't have a favorite of his movies. Good. I wept like a child on a plane watching Legally Blonde 2. Holy crap. I'm just gonna admit that right now, in front of everybody. Kind of embarrassing. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. But planes do that to you, you know? Obviously, it's like strange movies, just on a plane can bring you to tears. So I'm not sure if it was because of the film or it was where I was watching it, but that's pretty embarrassing. Your secret's safe with me. That was my take five, and you can watch me in Chernobyl on HBO.